Hello and welcome to my channel, She Speaks Too. Today we're going to be reviewing I May Destroy You Season 1, Episode 7, Happy Animals. The theme for this episode is exploitation. I don't think there is one true person in Arabella's life save Kwame, and maybe that's because he's going through his own trauma, but everyone is either untruthful or out for themselves. I'm not going to go through a blow-by-blow description of the events. I'm just going to, I mean, I'm going to talk about it, gloss over them, but basically tell you I, what I think about what is going on. So the episode opens with Terry, Kwame, Arabella at like an outside market. Um, Arabella is looking different. She's, she's more trendy. She looks happy. She has new hair. You know, women, we have new hair. We feel good. Um, she's wearing a half shirt, Gone are the oversized sweaters or cardigans, the grumpy, the, the frumpy clothing. She's a little more current, trendy. She's walking. They're looking at wigs. They're laughing. Um, Kwame is hanging out with them. And everything looks good on the outside, but Arabella is broke. Um, she has not turned in her, her draft, and so she has not gotten paid. They go to the grocery store, and um, Kwame gets a you know, a, a grinder message, show me your, you know what, um, bend over. Arabella too is getting her messages and she has basically a following based on what she's done to Zayn by outing him. Um, and so if they're both looking at their phones. Terry is walking with them. She sees a guy who looks similar to Simon. I thought it was Simon. She, she goes off to follow this guy, and then when she finds out it's not Simon, you can almost see the, the sigh of relief, and so you're wondering, what's that about? Um, Arabella goes to pay for her groceries. She has no money. Um, her card is declined. The cash register, the girl at the cash register sees who it is and says, you know, can I get a picture with you? Once again, exploitation. Once a picture um, with Arabella is not compassionate to the situation of her not getting a credit card. Once that picture is taken, she was like, yeah, you're going to have to move this off my conveyor belt and then restock. And um, once again, like everyone is out for something from Arabella. No one is sincere. So Arabella decides she meets with her, the publishing group with Julian and the lady. Obviously her content has changed. It's no longer about um, the something about millennials or what they're going through. Um, this is a, a dark, um, she's writing about her experience, about sexual assault. So there's not, it's not going to be um, lighthearted. She's talking about um, what it is to be a woman. She never paid too much to the fact that she was a female before her attack. She was too be busy being black and poor. And now who is she to even want to um, talk about her attack when there are other worse things going on in the world? However, is it possible for her to use her voice to help other women around the world. So she's just, these are her musings. She's wrote them down. And you can tell that um, the lady was listening. And Arabella has a tear in her eye. However, Julian says, um, there's a problem. We need a draft. Once again, this girl is bearing her soul. She's, she's writing about this traumatic event. And they're wanting to know, when is this draft coming? Um, We've, we've given you the, the therapy. We've given you, we even assigned a writer to you to help you, which was Zane, which we know how that turned out. And we still don't have a draft. So how much was that just to get her to, we've, we've invested in her. So now we need something in return. So all that self-help, how much was that really for Arabella's benefit or for them to just get a book written sooner? Everyone wants something from Arabella. So she's like, um, the money, where's the money? He says it's with Penny House and she says with Susie and so she goes to visit Susie once again. Susie was the very one that told Arabella to write about um, her assault. So Arabella asks for it in advance and she says, well, you did get, did you not get the money when you, when we did the contract or 25% or something? Arabella said, yeah, but that was a year ago. My book has changed because of what I'm, what has happened to me. And she says, well, there's a little thing of, a, of you know, the contract and you know, you've, you signed it basically. Yeah. I told you to write about this traumatic event. Um, however, and your book may change, but we need something. We need a draft so we can't pay you, um, until we get something. So you're making, you, you, you've encouraged this girl to write about this um, and you can't even advance her. You can't even say, take some time off. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll be here 
So every, and maybe in business, that's not what happens, but everybody wants something from her. No one is as compassionate as it seems. Then you cut to Terry meeting with Simon and Simon says, how many times are you going to come around here and interrupt my break? So this is not the first time that Terry is meeting up with Simon to make sure he stays away, to make sure he understands that Arabella is on the path of, um, of, of self-help and he can't be around. So it's one thing to meet him once and tell him, but you have an ongoing meeting with him and he's saying this. Do you not feel um do you not feel bad that you've been lying to your friend this whole time? And he says, Simon says, how much of this is how much of this self help is for her as opposed to you just trying to cover your guilt? We find out that Terry was the one who told Simon to just leave Arabella as she has left her in Italy. And Terry says, well, I didn't know how bad she was. So you, you wanted to go sleep with your mistress. And, um, but you still told him to leave, um, Arabella. Why have you not told her? Why have you not said, I need to tell you something. I did not know what condition you were in. Simon, um, was calling me to see what to do. And I did tell him to, to leave you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. She's definitely not the cause of the assault, so she can't be blamed for that. However, her actions contributed to that. How the longer you don't tell a friend that kind of betrayal, the worse that it gets, especially since you're an integral part of this self-help that she's doing. How it, it makes it seem so insincere. Is this self-help because you really want to help me or is this self-help because you feel so guilty about what happened in your contribution to it? So I was looking at that and I was wondering um, when this comes out, how is that going to play out? Because you know, my, your birth is my birth and your death is my death. Well, this might be the death of the friendship in my, in my opinion. So Arabella is with Theo and they work at a company called Happy Animals. So this is a vegan company and apparently Theo is money strapped also and she know, and she brings in Arabella unbeknownst to Arabella to be a spokesperson because this company needs more minorities to join in. They even have a graph that shows consumption from minorities on um, beef, um, plants, and Theo is looking at that graph they get um, Arabella, hey, do you want to take a couple of pictures? It goes from pictures to straight up exploitation. Once again, exploited by Theo. Theo needed knew she needed to get a minority. She knew Arabella was strapped for money. Then this company, oh, it starts off, can you take a couple of pictures? Can you put this t-shirt on? Um, can you hold this bag? Can you say a couple of things? And, want, and straight up, Arabella becomes a spokesperson to draw more people in. And so the happy animals is about how animal um, consumption contributes to global climate crisis. However, I'm from Liberia, which is considered a third world nation, which is an old term. I know that's not politically correct, but if you're from a third world nation and more than half of your population is in poverty, you don't have time to worry about if I'm eating um, corn or uh, veggies as opposed to meat. You eat what's in front of you. So this thing of um, changing everyone to vegan and, and that applies to even um, lower middle class people in um, first world nations. If, once again, a, a politically incorrect term. Um, they, we, if you're at the bottom and you're worrying about paying your bills and you're worrying about um, um, what you're going to, how you're going to pay your rent or your, your food on the table, you don't have time to be concerned about, can we eat meat or can we not eat meat or the, 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 the glaciers are melting. That's not your concern. So this is definitely a uh, upper class, maybe even white privilege, um, idea, not to say that black people are not con uh, concerned about climate change. However, if you're at a lower socioeconomic status, that is probably not your first concern. Um, considering the pandemic that we're going through now, who cares? Um, pe there are people that can't pay their bills, that can't pay, um, they don't know what their, when their next meal. Those people are less likely to be concerned about global warming right now. And that's just my opinion. Um, and so, so we see Terry, Terry told, uh, at that meeting with Simon, basically I know that you saw these, um, the, that I'm having a party 
Arabella's inviting people. It's going to be at her house. I just want to make sure you're not going to be there. So we cut to the party. Um, party's going on. There's a guy named Samson. Very bright. Samson says, I worked hard to get my Mercedes. Now I have one of these people, um, happy vegan people knocking at my door telling me I should get an electric car. And that's true. He says, the white man has had their foot on the African's neck and now you want to control them. And he, it's, and then they go into this discussion. It's a, it's the same thing with, um, how they spread Christianity, how they spread, um, all the things that they spread around the world. And he said, it's not about that. It's about control. So now this is another way of control. So he goes into that spill. So it starts off with Arabella, um, in the kitchen at Terry's party and she's eating chicken and they're going to take a picture and she knows that maybe this would be on social media so she tries to hide the chicken and so that's how they get it even into this discussion about the fact that she works for happy animals and so that's when Samson goes into his um, little tirade which I agreed with him I did agree with him there's a guy there um what's his name is it what's the guy's name there's a guy there that obviously has eyes for Kwame he's um, Egyptian and half Ecuadorian if that's how you say it and Kwame has been avoiding him um, and you know it's it's awkward Kwame he told he tells um, Terry that he's him and Terry have a, a talk outside and he says I'm just I'm on a break you know he doesn't explain why he just says I'm on a break for now and so the noise is a little bit too much for Kwame Kwame goes into Arabella's room the other guy decides that he needs to use the restroom and Arabella leads him to her room, locks the door, thinking that this is old Kwame. If this was Kwame of yesteryears or of yesterday, of course this would have been something that he would have been interested in. But um, Kwame, it's so sad, like a deer caught in headlights. Have you ever seen someone frozen with fear? frozen still shivering shaking but frozen can't move he can't he, he can't even stand up to defend himself even if he was going to defend himself which this guy didn't lay it this guy seemed to be kind of polite he was a little you know he was letting Kwame know that he liked him so he was a little pushy initially out of the room but in the room you know he seemed to be very considerate he noticed Kwame shivering he's like would you like me to open the window um and I don't even know if Kwame answered him he was just you know sitting there shaking um so Arabella and Theo arrives Theo arrives at the party and of course um Terry is not happy. I'm not sure if she's not happy because she sees Theo as a threat to Arabella's self-help improvement or if she if if she's just jealous. At this point, I don't know with Terry. Um so that's when Samson goes into his rant. Um Theo is eating and um he goes into his rant once again about happy animals and the other girls sitting around them also join in. Um, they talk about missionaries, how it's just one thing after the other and it's all the same dominance by the colonists, I will call them. So um, Theo is, uh, Kwame is locked in the room with this guy. And so Theo and Arabella have a moment in a room. So, you know, they're just somewhere and Theo says, I need to tell you something that Samson was right. Um, you are being exploited. I did get a referral fee um, for, for bringing you there because they knew that they want to recruit more people and have more following from black, you know, minorities. And so Arabella is, you know, listening like, okay, you know, she took it in stride and she said, well, I have to tell you something too. I was the one who told the teacher about the the fact that you lied on Ryan and um and and she said something like sorry to Theo and I was wondering but you did the right thing you shouldn't be sorry Theo was going to let an innocent boy go to jail probably tried as an adult so you did do the right thing and so they just kind of talk a little bit and the funny thing was the whole time they were talking, they weren't alone. They were in Arabella's roommate's room and he had headphones on. So I don't know if this is what he does when they throw parties. Maybe he, 
you know, when they throw parties, maybe the, the, the black parties, the African parties, maybe he's like, here they come again. He just puts his little headphones on. He's in bed. And they're like, thank you for letting us use your room or something like that. The whole time you were thinking that these two women are alone in a secluded place, just kind of having a heart to heart. So that was very funny. Then, um, uh, Terry, Terry comes in and says, you know, where is Kwame or something like that. And Arabella says, he's in my room. I locked him in there with the other guy. And Terry was like, he's on a break. He's on a break. And this is the first time that I've seen Terry think about someone other than herself. She opens the door, basically rescues Kwame. You can tell the other guy is just as uncomfortable as Kwame was, maybe because he saw the state that Kwame was in. He ran out of the room and Terry and Kwame are in the tub sitting there and um, Kwame had told Terry what happened and she was like, wow, I didn't know. Um, have you told Arabella? And he says, no, I, I haven't because the only time I can get through to her is if maybe I tweet. So making fun of the fact that Arabella is now just um, social media famous. And so Terry says, you should tell her it would be strengthening for you. So, um, it's my daughter. And so, um, that was a, that was a moment where we see that Terry can be a friend to someone other than herself. Um, and Theo, uh, Arabella tells Theo that we are, what are we going to do about tomorrow? Okay. One thing I can say about, um, Arabella being famous, remember the girl in the grocery store who took a picture, said, can I take a picture of you? That girl later had posted that. We see when Arabella was going to Susie Henny's office, that girl had posted that and said, her and posted the picture and said her, even her card was declined. So there is a drawback on being Insta famous. So anyway, Theo says, what are we going to do about tomorrow? And Arabella says, I'll think about, I'll think of something. So Arabella goes in the next day. Um, she's filming. She um, she's filming, and she says, you know, global warming. And she pulls out a bucket of chicken and takes a bite. And you can hear someone say, "What the?" And it's already hit social media. And the headline was like, "Black girl or African girl eats chicken on vegan live." And so she did find a way to get back with them, back at them. So um, that was my review for episode seven. Um, this episode, I guess, was all about exploitation and also the bombshell was that Terry was the one who told Simon, who told Simon to just leave Arabella. So I have a feeling that Simon probably was not involved. That doesn't excuse his cousin um, or the guy that Arabella is seeing in the flashback, but it seems like Simon's biggest thing was trying to get with get with Alyssa, his mistress, and see her. So he may not have anything to do with that. But however, he is keeping the secret that he left Arabella. He he told Arabella so many different stories that he walked her this way, he took her to the office, he did this. Basically, which there's no one in Arabella's life at this point who is not lying to her or exploiting her except for Kwame. So this is my review. She Speaks too. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers this week. Um, it means a lot to a new YouTuber. So please like, comment, tell me what I've missed, tell me what you think. Um, and I will see you next week. Thank you.